my wife wants to name our baby after her late best friend, and when I refused, she accused me of not supporting her. How do I save my future child? Long story short, my wife, Lou, 28F, is estranged from her family and has been since her teenage years. She met her best friend, Eva, in school, and they were inseparable, with Eva often letting my wife stay over and providing a constant source of support. I, 28M, met my wife at university, and unfortunately, Eva passed away suddenly a year into our relationship. I had met her a few times, she was a lovely person, and my wife was understandably devastated. Two years ago, we got married, and she took my last name, which, in this important context, is Brown. Our baby girl is due in the spring, and understandably, my wife wants to honor Eva in her name. This is something she has said throughout the relationship. I was happy with the idea of honoring her, and we have discussed baby names throughout the relationship and pregnancy. The leading name we were tossing around was a place name that held significant memories for them. Yesterday, she came up to me and said that she had a dream about Eva asking her to remember her by her name, and to memorialize her, our baby must be called Eva. I said absolutely no way. She asked why not, and I reminded her of the historical figure Eva Braun, which is pronounced Eva Brown, the wife of the person who started World War II and probably one of history's most evil figures. I reassured her that we will tell our kids about Aunt Eva, and she'll always be remembered, but my wife refused, insisting it has to be her name. She says few will make the link to the historical character, and she won't be bullied at school. She said she had fallen out with the place name, and a family member has had a baby recently with a similar name, think Brooke to Brooklyn. I suggested things related to Eva, such as her birthstone or honoring her through a middle name, or even names that had Eve or Eva in them, anything but Eva itself. She started crying and said that she won't name the baby anything else, and it's the ultimate way Eva can live on. I said it's a difficult situation, and if we had literally any other surname we would, but I literally can't. Not only am I extremely morally opposed, but I work in a field where if there was wind that I named my child Eva Brown, my work could be at risk. She's saying I'm making excuses and not supporting her as she is putting in a lot of effort into having this baby. This resulted in a fight, and now I am on the couch for the second night. Some of our friends are saying I'm being dramatic, but my sister, the mother of Brooke, is telling me that if she continues to disagree, then I should register the baby without her. To be honest, I'm leaning that way if she continues not to compromise, I'm really not sure what to do. Update 1. Hey everyone, it's been a while, and I didn't realize I was still logged into this account. I didn't expect my post to blow up so much, and I'd like to thank you all for your comments as they really gave me food for thought. Soon after posting, I called up Eva's sister, Rose, as my wife is really close to her and explained the situation. I know, I shouldn't get people involved in marital matters, but Rose's opinion really matters to Lou, especially when Eva is involved. Rose agreed with me that naming a daughter Eva Brown would be harmful, and she mentioned something that we believe to be a game changer. One thing you must know about the late Eva, dear reader, was that she was an avid writer. She kept journals, which her sister held onto after her passing. In one of these journals was a baby name list, where she gave five names for a girl and five names for a boy. Rose held onto these names when she was having children, one of her sons is named the top boy name, but she is done now and wants to give it to my wife, but we believe we have to introduce this carefully, so we launched a game plan. The next day, I sat down with Lou and stated in no uncertain terms that our daughter would not be called Eva. Brown is the only surname we have, and Eva is not something I'd feel comfortable pairing with it. As I mentioned in comments, my wife is estranged from her family and often jokes that we got married so young, at 22, so she could get rid of her maiden name. She agreed that our child would take our married name but continued to stress about forgetting Eva. I also mentioned that by naming a child Eva, you'd be pressuring that child to live on for the late Eva, and that's a big burden for young shoulders. My cousin was named after a late relative, and my grandparents often compared him to that relative, and that's not something I want for my own child. That seemed to resonate, and she admitted that pregnancy was bringing up old feelings as she and Eva always said that they'd be pregnant together. I suggested therapy, and she started therapy last week. I then talked about mine and Rose's conversation, and she was very interested. We agreed that it would be lovely to give Eva the opportunity to name a child, knowing it was something she was seemingly passionate about, and we have narrowed it down between two of the five girl names. And I've got to admit, Eva had great taste in names. Being able to discuss baby names and think about our daughter as her own person has been a blessing, and I can see my wife is on the mend. I think this will be the only update that's needed, and I can't wait to meet my daughter. Thank you all for your help.